Take a deep breath. Get yourself comfortable, whatever way you're comfortable. You may want to do this with eyes closed or eyes open, whatever you're comfortable with. I want you to visualize yourself. Driving down the highway. There's a little traffic, it's a sunny day, summertime, beautiful. And you're just taking a nice breath. Driving to an event that you're to speak at. And as you get about 15 minutes out from the event, you check your watch, look down at your watch in your mind. You notice it's 15 minutes away and all of a sudden you begin to notice that the, uh, that traffic is slowing down. You get a phone call and say that you don't have to be there for another hour, so you're excited. So you do the off-ramp, you get on the off-ramp and you stop by your home. And imagine this five years out from today, on this day, five years out, and every single one of your dreams have come true. Five years out. As a matter of fact, you've surpassed all your dreams. So I want you to think of whatever that car is that you love, the car you're driving is better than that. Whatever that community that you've wanted to live in, you've surpassed that one. Whatever that thing is, that life experience you want to have that you call success, oh, you're way past that. Just keep seeing yourself. For some of you, you may see a bank account balance. I want you to take that bank account balance, visualize whatever it is. Money is just energy. Money is just energy. Visualize that balance in your bank. Now I want you to double it in your head. Double it. Now I want you to drive your car to the front gate of your home. And I want you to push in the code and the front gate automatically opens. <laughs> and then you drive another mile up to your house. I told you it was better than you imagined, guys. You drive a mile on your property till you get to your front door. Your big double door open. You walk into the home and whatever your home looks like in its most beautiful, pristine place, tavertine floors, a spiral staircase, a beautiful chandelier, you smell lavender, you smell chamomile, you smell, you smell the beautiful aromas, the beautiful flowers, you hear the music, your house is your sanctuary, you hear the waterfall that's running in the indoor pool over in the back corner. You hear the laughter of your family. I want you to hear the laughter of your family, the robust laughter of your family. You go into the dining room where there's a 20 person table and everyone standing around the table and enjoying each other. And the person who cooks the best in your family, they cook today. It's a good day. And your family gathers around the table, visualize your family sitting down at the table. And one by one, they raise their glass. And to your surprise, they all begin to toast you. They begin to celebrate you for what you've done, what you started five years ago. The person that you stepped into five years ago in Cancun. The person that came home wasn't the same person you see. And that person began to do some really amazing things inward and outward. And life just began to change and they are witnessing it and they just want to celebrate you. They finish the toast and everyone begins to eat and talk and you look down at your watch, look down at your watch again and you realize that, oh my God, I'm running late. I got to get back on the road and get to this speaking event. So you hop out of the room, you run out to the car, you jump in your car, you choose the convertible today again and you get on the highway. And as you're on the highway, you're driving up the highway and you run into traffic again. Now, you're really 15 minutes out and you need to get there. You hear that there are gonna be quite a few people. You're not sure of the number, but quite a few. And you're getting frustrated. Feel yourself get frustrated right now. I want you to feel that energy of being stuck in traffic, of being, <sighs> And then you stop 
and you think, wait a minute, this just might be my traffic jam. They might be all going to the same place that I'm going to. You, you make your way through traffic, it, it takes you 20 minutes, you get there five minutes late, but no one cares, they're so excited to see you. You walk into a stadium, picture yourself walking onto this big platform. You walk onto the stadium. The room is silent. You come to the podium. You look around. There are 10,000 people there to see you, to hear you, to touch you because of what you've done, who you've become, the example you've been. See yourself, guys. See yourself right there. See yourself right in the center of the stage. See yourself. You look out and you can feel the energy of every single person, all 10,000 people. You open up your paper, you get ready to say your speech, but you start with two words. Thank you. And then before you can start your speech and say another word, person number 6,782 way in the back, they yell out, no, thank you. And then person number 460, they yell out, thank you. Person number 56 in the front yells, thank you. Person number 7,950 yells, thank you. And then each person, just begins to yell, thank you, thank you, thank you for believing in yourself again, thank you, thank you for getting over your fear of being brilliant, thank you for picking up the pieces again and again, thank you, 10,000 people all say thank you to you just breathe it in just breathe it in breathe it in breathe it in you stand on stage and you commit to that room that you're gonna lock every single door in that stadium and you're gonna leave one door open and you're gonna hug every single person that came to see you and you warn them we are going to be here for a while and they're okay with that because they came just to get close to you just to share your oxygen and you stand by that door the one to the side And that 68-year-old man comes to you and he bends down and he hugs you and he says, thank you for letting me know I'm not too old to dream again. <sighs> and followed behind him is that 16-year-old girl who comes and she hugs you and she says, thank you for letting me know that I count. And behind her is that 44-year-old woman who says, thank you for letting me know that I need to put myself first now. And behind her is that 35-year-old man saying, thank you for letting me know that I could feel out loud. I can let my joy out. I can let my tears out. Thank you for showing me what freedom looks like. And one by one, 10,000 people hug you and thank you and on your way home at 3 30 in the morning you realize that you never came to deliver a speech you came to hear the people acknowledge you for being courageous audacious non-negotiable and unapologetic take a deep breath 
breathe in your five-year future, however you want it to look. Feel your feet back on the ground. Feel your back against the chair or on the pillows. Wiggle your toes a bit. Wiggle your hands a bit as you open your eyes.